Hey guys, uh, so for question number one, uh, what was the most meaningful part of the play for you? Uh, for me, it was probably the moment when uh, Arge, the, the mother, killed her own son, Pentheus, uh, because I kind of think it was like a really intense moment of the play, and it kind of proved like the seriousness of the gods, specifically Dionysus, and the seriousness of just kind of like the overall play. And then as far as a moment that I found memorable, um, definitely the part in which uh, Pentheus tries to stab Dionysus and the blade just kind of goes right through him. It goes like right through his shadow. It was kind of like a spooky scene almost, kind of gave like a horror type feel to the play. Uh, that was definitely something memorable. Uh, for question number two, identify three prominent themes. Uh, the first one I think is a balance between uh, control and freedom. And I think that's from this play, at least, uh, Pentheus, he's kind of like in control of his society. He really has like a tight grip on the rules and is really in charge. And then Dionysus is kind of uh, comes in and creates havoc and like really stirs things up. And he's kind of the freedom part. Um, and they kind of clash together in the play. And then for the second theme, really kind of plays off that is a, a balance in society. So I think like societies are most successful when they kind of have a balance between like good rules, good set of rules and uh, a good amount of freedom as well. And then this show, uh, play kind of really shows like the two battling against each other, like I said before. And then uh, for the third one, I, I chose like pride as a type of theme, mostly with Pantheus because he's a like a really proud leader to start the play and he's really in control and uh, there's uh, definitely parts in the play in which Dionysus kind of like uses that pride against Pantheus and almost leads to his own demise. For question number three, uh, I think the Maenads, uh, for me at least, didn't really have a consistent understanding the whole time. They're, they're kind of a background part to uh, Dionysus. Um, he has control of them the whole time, and I think that shows how the role of women in Greek society, it may not have been that prominent, uh, probably because uh, their little involvement in the play and essentially they were mind controlled the whole time. So it wasn't even like their own true characters. Uh, for question number four about Elvis on the cover, um, I think Elvis is on the cover because he was kind of a very provocative, uh, represented like freedom for his time, like when he became famous and Dionysus is very similar. He kind of represents freedom in this play. And uh, he casts a spell on all the women in the play. And they kind of like praise him. And in a lot of ways, uh, Elvis kind of did that during his time. Uh, and it's I think it's because of the attractiveness of like the freedom that they represented. Uh, for the last uh, question, the two questions I would say about the play... Um, what do you think is the biggest flaw or weakness in character of Pantheus? Uh, whatever that may be, did it lead to his demise? And then do you think Dionysus is a good god that did what was right? Or did he go too far to hurt these mortal people?